identify the beam of the laser point. You know? <laughs> get to market in downturns, you know, real inventions. You know? <laughs> the countries up there, 1950, look, they have small family and long life, because this axis shows children per woman. Number of children per woman, from one, two, three, four, up to eight children per woman, you know? And this axis shows the length of life from 40 years, 50, 60, 70 years. Each bubble is a country. The size of the bubble is the population of the country. The big red is China, the blue is India, and the, the colors here show uh, the continent. The brown ones there is Europe. The red one is uh, East Asia, that's Japan. These sort of uh, yellowish ones here is United States. That's America, this is Brazil, and, and down here these green is Arab countries, and the dark blue are African countries. And, and what has happened? How has the world changed? It actually fits with the student's view, doesn't it? It was a Western world up there who had small family and long life. And there was a developing world down there who had large families and short life. It's just that that was 1950, the year when their teacher was born. <laughs> and, 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 and now what has happened? Let me run the world. Let me run the world up to the estimate for next year, which we have. And these are United Nations uh, best estimate. I'll talk about data quality later. Here we go. You can see, can you see that life expectancy is going up there in developing countries. They are living longer. And, and see China there. Now we want to move the here. Now they start. We have the family and they get down with the short of family index. We have the family and the Arab countries is getting longer. Right? But it's still a big Oh, see, Latin America is already up there. It's going pretty well. The HIV epidemic take down these bubbles in Africa, but otherwise the whole world meets up here and doesn't fit the student's worldview. <laughs>